Hi, my name's Kingsley, Head of Instruction here at Clearwater Bay. Hi, my name's Sam, one of the golf pros here at Clearwater Bay. Hello, I'm Eric, golf profession in Clearwater Bay. Welcome to a series called How to Beat the Bay. We're going to take you around all 18 holes, give you an insight into how the pros think and play their way around Clearwater Bay. Okay, let's head on down to the first tee. Let's go. We're on the par tree named Ocean Breeze, 225, down the hill, ocean in the background, stunning start to the round, hard start to the round. Uh, Sam, Eric, what, uh, what are your thoughts on how to play this hole? Well, as the name suggests, the Ocean Breeze is always windy, so I try to hit low shots onto the green, maybe a low fade to a front flag, maybe a low draw to the back flag. How about you, Sam? Yeah, trying to use that bank over on the right hand side, the balls always gather in from that side a little bit. Um, one other bit of advice that I would tend to do would be uh, before you tee off, always glance over to hole eight. Over when you're looking at hole eight, you can see the, the pin over there, look at the flag, and it gives you a really good indication for which way that, um, that wind is blowing. Sometimes it's pretty tricky up here to, to actually gather where that wind's coming from. Definitely swirls around here with the uh, clubhouse and hill in the background. Very hard to judge sometimes. Let's go take a look at the green then. Let's go. Okay, so we find ourselves down here by the first green. As we said from the tee, if we can use this slope to the right hand side, we can use it to our advantage to help get that golf ball in towards the hole. So, fairly long hole, we're going to be coming in with the longer clubs, so the ball's going to be coming in a little lower. If we don't quite get hold of it, and we do use this right hand side, that ball's going to finish just down this right hand side gully, and it's going to finish into a fairly nice spot, just short of the green. If we do happen to get the shot a little bit better, that ball's coming in with a little bit more pace, See, we can use that ridge over there by where Eric is and the ball can almost get onto the green or if we really get hold of one you can see that ball starts to end up on the green so a much better side to come in from the place we really want to try to avoid is over to the left hand side where Kingsley finds himself okay so we find ourselves uh, down the left hand side of the first hole which really is not the place to be you get some pretty inconsistent lies down here, get some tight lies, get some thick rough lies. We've got a bunker with a high lip. Uh, not a lot of green to work with here, just over the back uh, penalty area down to the marina. So you definitely need some sort of uh, high flop shot. Very difficult no matter where the pin is um, in this situation. We'd much prefer to have been uh, up on that right hand side. Let's uh, go take a look at the green. Right now we're on the first screen. This screen is actually not too tricky apart from the front bit of the green. If we roll a ball here, down the hill, down the slope, it's so hard to get the distance right. So to play this green, basically it's all about distance control. If, we, if you find the middle of the green, it will take the ball a while to get to the back of the green. Let's take a look. So here, distance control is a must. So I hope you've enjoyed hole one here at uh, How to Beat the Bay. Uh, look forward to seeing you on uh, hole two next time.